Welcome viewers to Venture Arena. On this channel, we will find scientific and rational answers to theoretical matchups between all kinds of entities. From Marvel characters to prehistoric animals, nothing is out of the question. Now on to our first matchup. We hope you enjoy. Dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures have been a major part of pop culture for decades, being further popularized by the Jurassic Park franchise. Getting to see these magnificent and terrifying creatures brought to life on the big screen is an eye-opening moment for people around the world. Today, we will travel millions of years into the past, to when the Earth was a very different place. The Dinosuchus and the Tyrannosaurus Rex, each from the Cretaceous period, will be put head-to-head -head as we venture into this prehistoric arena. Our first combatant, the Dinosuchus, is a behemoth of a reptile. Even its name reflects its status at the very top of the food chain, with a literal translation to terrible crocodile. The Dinosuchus reached lengths of up to 11.9 meters, which is roughly the size of a school bus. It also grew to reach a weight of up to 5,000 kilograms, or 5.5 tons. This is more than five times the weight of a saltwater crocodile, the heaviest reptile of today. Just like crocodiles of today, Dinosuchus had an extraordinary bite force. The Dinosuchus could crunch down on its prey with up to 10 tons of force, instantly pulverizing anything that it got its jaws around. The Dinosuchus employed a hunting style similar to modern crocodilians, waiting at the water's edge to grab and drown terrestrial animals that came to drink. It has been hypothesized that these beasts even consumed large theropods if given the opportunity. Again, like the crocodiles of today, Dinosuchus was surprisingly speedy, both in the water and on land. The only downfall to this creature's speed is its stamina. It would be rare for Dinosuchus to run more than one or two body lengths out of the water because it would quickly tire. Along its back were lines of osteoderms that would work as load-bearing reinforcements to help hold up the Dinosuchus's massive size when traveling out of the water. The Dinosuchus also had rough, scaly skin that could resist scratches or bruises from most of the creatures that ever came across. Now to meet the challenger, the fearsome meeting of Tyrannosaurus rex, king of the tyrant lizards, is a good indicator of the power this apex predator wields. The T-Rex stood roughly 4 meters tall at the hip and was 12.3 meters long from nose to tail. Its weight varied anywhere from 5.5 to 8 tons fully grown. That's roughly the same as a fully grown African bull elephant, the largest terrestrial animal of today. The T-Rex's skull was optimally built for a predator. Its 60 serrated teeth, together with a 6-ton bite force, made quick work of any prey unfortunate enough to find its way into the T-Rex's jaws. The tyrant lizard had an incredible sense of smell, and it devoted large parts of its brain specifically for that reason. This powerful sense of smell likely helped the T-Rex find mates and detect other predators. Unfortunately for the Tyrannosaurus, this tyrant king did have some weaknesses. First, and perhaps most significant, the T-Rex was limited to about 12 miles per hour. Studies of the Tyrannosaurus bones suggest that running much faster could result in fractures. Another weakness of the T-Rex is its comically small arms. Although there is much speculation as to what these arms were actually used for, it is possible they could have been used to slash at prey or competing predators. In this case, longer arms would have provided more use. Another theory for their arms is that they aided in mating process. Although there is no fossil evidence that these two titans actually met, both lived in the same area at the same time. This matchup will take a look at a possible scenario of the tyrant king coming face to face with the terrible crocodile. In the Cretaceous period, millions of years ago, a solitary female Tyrannosaurus rex walks up to a riverbank to quench its thirst. As it approaches, the T-Rex catches an abnormal scent blowing in from the water. This isn't the first time she smelled the scent, however, so she continues cautiously towards the river. The Dinosuchus has been lurking in the river, waiting for something to dare drink. It spots the T-Rex, approach, and positions itself for a possible attack. The T-Rex, upon reaching the river, 
lowers her massive head towards the water and begins drinking. Her eyes start back and forth as she keeps on the lookout for anything lurking in the shadows. Just as she lifts her head from the river, a large, gaping mouth breaks the surface of the water, moving at her with lightning speed. The Dinosuchus lunges at the T-Rex, but has slightly miscalculated the timing because the T-Rex has just lifted her head. The Dinosuchus crashes into the T-Rex, throwing it off its balance. Before the Tyrannosaur has any time to process what has just happened, the Dinosuchus is on the ground again with its jaws clamped around the T-Rex's ankle, shattering all of the bones with ten tons of force. The Tyrannosaur feels the bones in its leg crush under the pressure of Dinosuchus' bite. At this point, there is nothing left for the T-Rex to do. It strains its body against the crocodile and desperately attempts to claw and bite at it to no avail. The Dinosuchus then moves into a death roll as it drags the T-Rex to a watery grave. Both the Tyrannosaurus rex and the Dinosuchus are apex predators in their own right. But when it comes to a direct face-off, the T-Rex loses nine times out of ten. This is simply due to the element in which these two creatures meet. The Dinosuchus has the element of surprise, a faster speed, and a greater bite force. It will almost always be the first to strike, thus will almost always win. Well, there you have it. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, the Dinosuchus will beat the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Do you agree with our conclusion, or is there something you think we overlooked? If there are any matchups you want to see in the future, be sure to leave a comment down below. Other than that, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and we will see you in the next Venture Arena.